Here's the process of making cedar hydrosol. First, get yourself some cedar boughs. Place them in the copper still. Okay, so I've got that packed full of cedar and next we'll be to add water and that's going to create a hydro distillation. Now I've also got this column that I'm going to fill up with uh, cedar boughs as well. So as the steam rises up through there, it's now we're going to get into what we call a steam distillation. So it's the steam passing through uh, the, the cedar that is going to go up in here and then that's going to further extract the cedar essence via steam. Okay, next we're gonna add some water. All right, next we add some water, fill that up. And I'll often preheat the water uh, just on the stove or in the kettle, uh, just to kind of save on uh, propane. I'm used to using the propane setup to actually heat this up. fill right up to cover this completely. Everything is now connected as such. And now we got to fill up the cooling chamber. And finally, we set up our catchment. So as the steam rises, comes through the chamber, extracting all the goodness up the hat, down this long neck into the cooling chamber, and then it recondenses and we'll capture it here. All right, and as it gets up to temperature, it starts boiling away and all that steam is captured in the alembic condensed and starts dripping out of here. The aroma is absolutely incredible, so intoxicating. It begins to slowly, slowly fill into our vessel. Drip by drip by drip. You can see those little specks of oil. That is some of the essential oils, not completely uh, dissolved. There's going to be a lot that sits on the surface as well. And this will take a couple hours.